Okay, is this on? Uh, I was. It's funny. I I bought the same mic that uh, Justin has, and I should be using it like how he does. But instead, I'm just gonna use the Rode NTG One that we have. Uh, I think that's the name. It's NTG One. Anywho, hello YouTube. It's your boy. Um, I feel like I'm like the least favorite one. Uh, the small circle sound. <laughs> it's Broderick here, and yeah, we're gonna talk about. Man, what are we gonna talk about today? You know what? This is gonna be one of the more transparent um, vlogs that we're gonna have for probably a good little bit. Let's just do a little basic recap of what's been going on. Oh, so there's been a lot of changes going on, and good changes, don't get me wrong. Getting new jobs, um, new responsibilities, new experiences, and you know, just trying to navigate that. So, of course, you've seen and watched our journey of how like, we've been able to grow in quality, how we've been able to grow in equipment, of course, we love our equipment, and also just experience as well. And all that, you know, we don't really talk about just the life stuff that happens. And we talk about, you know, consistency over motivation, but we didn't really go too in depth with like how important and vital that really is, especially amongst life changes as we go through our different phases as well. So yeah, I recently got a new job. It's pretty cool for my nine to five. Yeah, we're still nine to five, so don't think that we're just, you know, making billions of dollars filming just yet. Uh, soon time come, but right now we still have other responsibilities. You know, we still have uh, other obligations that we have, whether personal, financial, uh, physical, you know, and it's just, it is hard to be consistent in everything. When we talk about consistency over motivation, but there's also one part as well that we didn't touch up on and that's prioritization. So being able to have your priorities to the highest level. Yeah, we've been really blessed to work with some great people. Um, check out the 2 in 10,000 podcast. You need to. It's amazing. This is something that Justin and I have been working on. We've been able to cover their video and audio. And that's actually what inspired me to get the MKE 600 as well the amazing mic i'll show like how it looks right here you can see like that's me opening it unboxing it that's me playing around with it right there yeah it's pretty cool great mic amazing mic also ooh, we got a new phone so right here you're gonna see the unboxing of my iphone 15 pro max i love this phone this is me upgrading from uh the xr so, you know, it was about time, it was about time. And I feel like as a filmer, you know, it's nice to have choices and something portable as well. My main concern was that um, I didn't really have anything that was portable for me to shoot with, you know? I don't always wanna bring, you know, thousands of dollars of equipment with me all the time, uh, especially if I just wanna do something low key as well. Recently, I think you guys have been seeing the same trend as well, that a lot of people have been just, you know, coming out with the Kodaks or the old uh, Fuji films, and they've just been taking disposable photos. This has been a popular thing for a while, and it's been something that's been more popular and less mainstream, but of course, it ended up becoming mainstream as well. So, it's funny, I was going through some old stuff that I had, and I found this bad boy right here. This is the Stylus Tough 3000, and this is what I use to film some old skateboard videos. I hope I didn't damage my sensor. This is one of my first cameras. It's funny, I actually got this when I was um, probably like 13 years old. I like being able to reuse things and it's cool. Like it's like, it's like a non-renewable camera if you catch my drift. Cause I'm not having to put film in it constantly. I can just use an SD card, wipe it out, so on and so forth. So it's been a cool lifestyle camera. By the way, these are still like maybe like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. If you decide to get one off of eBay or online, they have a newer one as well, but it's like hundreds, but this right here, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, copy one. It takes some amazing photos, it's a cool little camera, and it's discreet. I can put it in my bag, you know, it's really simple, and I love carrying this thing around. So besides that, going back to what I was mentioning before, is that, yeah, you know, we, have had to focus on uh, this our priorities as well um, like I said we're, we're not these invincible filmmakers uh, yet who are just you know 
doing what we do or doing what we want to do 24-7. One of the things we learn is delegation. We realized that we can't do everything by ourselves. So with that, we decided to expand the team, um, you know, pick up some new members, contract with more people, and expand within our community because that's one thing. We have a community, and this might be you too. You might have a giant community of people that you know who are amazing at different things. And it's just finding a way to put the pieces together and make something amazing. For y'all aspiring filmmakers and photographers who own your own businesses, but who still work a nine to five, and then you do your five to nine work as well, make sure you take advantage of just taking a step back. Make sure you capitalize on taking a deep breath. Make sure you invest in more time with yourself and your families and your loved ones and the things that bring you life and joy and remind you of what you're doing and why you're doing it. And that's one thing as well. I want to encourage y'all to study and figure out what your why is and, you know, exploit that for the best. So, yeah, once again, I know we didn't talk a whole bunch about cool film stuff and different strategies and yada, 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 and this might be one of the longest ones or one of the longer ones, but ultimately I'm just saying and just pointing out and giving you guys a reminder and myself a reminder too that Focus on your health, that's what's most important. Make sure you are being as consistent as possible, but make sure you also have your priorities straight and that you're taking care of yourself because without you, there'll be no filming, there'll be no clients, there'll be no anything. There, there wouldn't even be a reason to even spend money because you're decrepit and sick and stressed and always unavailable. So make some time with your loved ones. Go get dinner with someone. Make sure you're doing that with um, in a spirit of really just genuine interest. You know, it's nice to just reach out to someone and not want anything. It might even catch them off guard too. It's like, yo, what's up, man? It's like, no, I just want to talk to you. It's like, really? You know? So that's my challenge to you. Besides that, of course, maintain that filming. If you're doing the nine to five to five to nine, please make sure that you're getting your proper rest. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and understand your priorities. Sometimes you might need to, you know, slack on something in order to balance something else up. So, yeah, once again, this is Broderick from Small Circle Cinema. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. Peace.